thank you and, and good morning. Um, is this the, it's the what you get? The clicker? It's uh, here. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks. Well, uh, good morning and um, let me let me thank um, the ODI for, for the invitation. Um, the seminar is, is certainly one of the the many ways in which Cabri and the ODI um, is, is collaborating. Um, there, there's now a, a a standard answer to the two questions that 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 are asked at um, <coughs> at border control as I enter the UK. The first is, what are you coming to do in the UK? And I would say that well, there's the the Cape conference, <laughs> and then the second question is, have you? Uh, have you been to the UK before? And I said, yes, I attended the last Cape conference. <laughs> um, so it's, 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 good to be, it's good to be back. Um, let, me, um, le let, let me start with, with what I, I thought was quite a, a, a provocative statement that, that was made at the, at the third Cabri annual conference. <laughs> and uh, this, this statement was made by somebody that is um, familiar to many um, of you that, that work for the ODI. It was made by Tony Killick. And, and we, got, we got Tony to, um, was working in Ghana at the time. We got him to come and do a presentation on the Ghanaian um, budget process and the reforms that had been undertaken. And, and Tony opened up his, his presentation by saying that the Ghanaian budget process is a facade. Um, and there was kind of a lot of um, uncertainty in terms of how to respond, how to respond to that, and, and Tony went on by saying that he thought it was a a, a, a facade because of the large vari variations and leakages within within the process, um, that it was essentially a, a closed system with with very weak parliamentary scrutiny, um, and even went as far as saying that that he thought that the process was anti-developmental. Um, because of the large discretionary spending within within the system, and 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 fourthly, which was which was probably um, um, what what got the Ghanaian um, officials that were present uh, most upset was that he did not think that there was a clear link between the policy priorities and and the actuals, um, and and I'll come back to how the Ghanaians responded to to Tony, um, but it was also at the same at the same seminar. Um, the Cabri seminar that, that Paolo Lorenzo quoted um, Aaron Wodowski, um in a session on the politics of the budget process, and that is the quote that, that I've put up um, as, as part of the, of the title um, slide, that most practical budgeting may take, may take place in a twilight zone between um, politics and, and efficiency. Um, and, and I must say that, you know, my eight years that I spent in the budget office, um, in South Africa, most of my time, they felt like I was living in a twilight zone. <laughs> well, it, 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 I, I think especially my family thought I was living in a, <laughs> in, in a twilight zone. Um, so, so coming back to how, how the Ghanaians responded to Tony, um, I, mean, I was quite surprised. At all these annual seminars, we have this evaluation um, of forms where we, we ask delegates to provide their feedback. And it were the two Ghanaians that said that it was Tony's session that they found most informative. Um, and, and, and certainly the most, the most relevant. Um, so I, I suspect that, um, that they also you know, had this feeling that the budget process was a bit of a facade at the time. Um, so yeah, just, okay. So let me just say also in, in, my, in my eight years of, of working in, in the budget office in South Africa, I, I did come to, to appreciate um, um, very much um, Wydowski's description of budgets as the attempts to allocate um, financial resources through political processes to serve differing human um, purposes. Um, and, and this description has, has two characteristics of budgeting in poor countries, and um, Antoinette has, has alluded to this in, in her opening remarks, and that is mainly scarcity and, and uncertainty. So on the one hand, you have a budget process that forces public policy choices to be made and trade-offs to be identified. And then you have uncertainty that is within an environment that is often characterized by limited transparency and, and accountability. What scarcity also therefore means is that budgets are often limited to wish lists of political promises that remained unfulfilled um, in the light of hard budget constraints. Um, I, I remember budget processes starting where you had um, you know, additional budget requests that are often 10 times 
more than what um, you're thinking of, of of allocating within with, with within that process and the budget process essentially being about you know bringing those um, additional budget requests that are ten times more than what what you can afford down to what is what is uh, affordable um, let, let me now turn to two reforms that, that I think um, are, are certainly the most pop popular reforms and, and reforms that have been introduced um, to, to make this environment of scarcity and uncertainty more manageable. And that is the medium term expenditure frameworks. Um, and, and, and secondly, I will look at, at um, program and performance based, based, based budgeting in its different variations. Um, so, so from the from the medium term expenditure framework map, what we see is that that five countries have no form of an MTF, that thirteen uh, countries in Africa have a <coughs> medium term fiscal framework, which is essentially a, a, a top down uh, budget ceiling that that uh, is is determined. Um, we have about eleven countries that have a medium term budget framework, where there's some bottom up, but still a largely a focus on on inputs. Um, and then three countries um, have a medium-term performance framework where there is both the top-down and bottom-up and, and a shift towards a, a focus on, on outputs. Um, now, let me, let, let, let me make another provocative statement and, and say that, that what we see on the map in terms of medium-term expenditure frameworks, which was a reform brought about to manage this uncertainty and, and scarcity that in Africa it may mean that only three countries have an MTF that has made a substantive contribution to improving budgeting um, where there has been a shift from inputs to outputs and where there is an emphasis on the measurement and evaluation of, of performance and, and where budget allocations are used to, are used to encourage better, better performance. Um, and let me venture to say that the rest of the MTFs are merely presentational and has not really improved the functionality of, 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 the, budget, of the budget system. On, on the program and, and performance budgeting um, um, map for, for Africa, and, and we've expanded a bit on, on the classifications, um, there is an OECD um, uh, classification of, of program and performance-based based budgeting which places um, this reform in three categories. Um, there's the performance informed, there's the presentational, and then there's the direct um, formula um, classification. As Cabri, we've expanded a bit, a, a bit on, on, on those classifications. Um, and, and what we found um, in Africa in terms of performance-based budgeting um, is that two African countries have a functioning performance and program-based budgeting system. Eight countries have made considerable progress towards um, implementing this reform. Um, Twelve countries have made some progress. Um, in about nine countries, um, um, performance and program-based budgeting reforms have begun. Six countries are committed to this reform. And, and in seven countries, it appears as if there is very little, very little in interest. Um, I hope you are able to, um, you know, distinguish through through the through the through through the legend um, um, and and its and its reference to to, to each of the countries. Um, so, in two countries for sure, and maybe in another eight countries in Africa, um, one is able to describe, or those countries are able to describe and give the detailed cost of every activity or program that is carried out in the budget. And this is when budgets are formulated, as in when that engagement starts between line ministries and, and finance ministries, and also through um, the, the, the spending period and, and the accountability and, and auditing period, that if, if one uses that map of program and performance-based budgeting and, you, disc and you, you attach the definition of program-based budgeting to it, that you could safely say that two countries and maybe another eight are able to describe and give detailed cost of every activity or program that is carried out in, in the budget. Um, so when it comes to these two reforms, um, that were reforms that were introduced, as I said earlier, 
to improve the budgeting process and, and budgeting systems, um, the, the report card is, is, is not one that, 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 that reads very, very satisfactorily. Um, so just in focusing on these, these grand reforms, um, these reforms that were intended to improve budgeting um, being the MTFs and, 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 and um, double Ps, double Bs, we, we may have overlooked several technical and political pre and, and co-conditions. Um, and and Cabri is just um, finalizing a, a, a report on, on program-based budgeting um, that is based on um, joint country case studies in Mauritius and, and in Namibia. Um, and then more detailed um, studies in 15, in, in, sorry, in five other countries and in a survey of 15 African countries. Um, we, in that report, identify some of the preconditions and let me say some of them are co-conditions um, that, that may have been overlooked in, in undertaking these reforms as an attempt to improve on, on, on the system. The first is, is what um, um, we, we, we are, or many of us are familiar with, and that is what has been identified by, by Alan Sheik as getting the basics right um, in, in both budget formulation, execution, and, and reporting, um, that we may have looked, overlooked some of these very important um, basics um, in moving forward with these very ambitious reforms. Um, but, but I must also, also I, I think, qualify this point by saying that, um, that in getting the basics right, um, we're not or I'm not proposing that it should be applied in any kind of rigid way, um, that I think some countries can move faster than, than, than other countries. Um, the, the second precondition that I think is, 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 is often overlooked and, um, and, 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 and it's going to be referred to, I'm sure, over the next two days, and that is the ownership by parliament, which is, is very critical. If one takes the Bukanabi um, example, um, there the Bukanabi parliament um, um, re-energized the program budgeting reform when it um, became, when it became in, in involved in, in that reform, um, which was a reform that was stagnating um, for, for, for some time. Ownership by, by government is, is an important one. Um, but let me also say that um, where you have a government um, that comprises of a finance ministry, a planning ministry, and a budget ministry, that ownership is not enough. You also need coordination. Um, and, and we certainly found in, 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 in the DRC where the fragmentation <coughs> of um, a, 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 a finance and budgeting and economic planning uh, um, uh, function into, into three ministers um, often resulted in, in, in an inability um, to, to, to improve on, um, budget, on budgeting and, and, and budget systems. Um, the, the, the fourth is a, 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 a precondition is, is comprehensive macro fiscal framework with a medium term fiscal targets and, and reliable uh, projections. Coming from um, or having had experience within with, 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 within the Ministry of, of Finance of, of South Africa, um, it, it, it was it, it was often it was quite difficult for me to to understand how countries could put together a credible medium term expenditure framework when there was very weak um, credibility in the projections that were that 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 that, that, that were that were being put forward um, and further complicated by, by, by um, donor funding that was, that was often un unpredictable and un unreliable. The, the, the fifth is um, capacity in, in the spending and, and oversight ministries to prepare, monitor, and report on a, a program and an activity basis. And then sixth, um, having in place an effective government accounting system and, and, fiscal, and, and fiscal reporting. Um, I mean, if an MTF is meant to be a um, rolling spending plan, um, the, impli the, the implication is that you're going to be in your, in, 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 when, when you're examining your second and your, and your third year 
which then the following year becomes your first and your second year, and you're adding a third year, that there must be um, some ability in collecting data on um, how you performed in terms of the implementation of your plan, but also how you performed in terms of your, of your spending. Um, slide number six, I, I, I think I'm going to, I'm going to um, skip over slide number six because I, I, it, it's a kind of a prelude um, to, to, I'm sure, what Matt is going to be, be, be sharing with all of us. A and that is um, essentially what, what a, a budgeting reform process looks like. Um, the first and, and second row um, is what, we, what, what we're quite familiar with. Um, it is that, it is that um, third row, the missing links, that's often um, ignored um, when undertaking a, a, a reform in a country um, and, and, and the discussions later and, and especially in my <coughs> section will be looking at how that impacts on um, the success in the way that the reform is designed and also in the way that the reform is implemented. Um, so let me, let, 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 let me move on um, to, to a, a, a last slide um, so that I stay within, yeah. the, within the 15 minutes um, and, and share with you some, some insights um, from, from senior budget officials at, at the Cabri um, annual seminar that, that was held in Nairobi um, a couple of months ago um, when we were discussing some of the, what is the softer issues um, that, that have an impact on um, reforms or the in introduction of reforms that are intended to improve budget systems um, um, and, and also budget implementation. Um, so senior budget officials were saying that the civil service culture does not always match efforts with rewards and, and it gives very little, very limited room for experimentation and, and, and mistakes. Um, and within this culture, reforms a, as a process of experimentation, learning, and consolidation of inf in innovation have serious institutional, institutional <coughs> challenges. Um, the, way, the way forward, um, which was uh, identified by, by, by the senior budget <laughs> officials, was um, that the reforms need to, need, need to uh, a, a, a be accompanied with a, a, a change culture process um, that focuses on changing the mindsets not only of the leaders and, and senior executives, um, but also other players, and, and, and that mindset needs to move towards a process that is a lot more consultative. Um, it needs to take on suggestions um, from but bottom up, um, take feedback from other units within the Ministry of Finance and other, and, and, and other sector ministries. Um, I mean, Antoinette referred to Ngozi's um, um, lessons that, that is expressed, that, that is captured in a book. Um, which has this wonderful title, Reforming the Unreformable. Um, and, and Ngozi speaks about um, the, the importance um, of, of having a reform team in place um, where you're not only bouncing off ideas, you're also building up a, 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 a capacity um, to, to drive the reforms within what was identified as an unreformable in, in environment. But the danger of that is that you sometimes, you know, confine the reforms to a closed group um, and don't open it up to a much broader consultative con consultative pro process. Um, so what what is required is is a is a culture um, that that openly defines roles and performance targets, um, promotes consultations and experimentation, measures and rewards uh, successes and share successes and failures as learning processes. Um, and, and this is certainly what, 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 um, what was identified by, by the senior budget officials. Um, let me let, let just end with, with, with um, a, a consensus that we, that, that, that we reached at our, at our ninth annual seminar, and that was that PFM reforms, especially those that are directed at improving the budget system um, are more successful in organizations um, with cultures that balance hierarchy and, and consultation, um, nurturing and demand for results, 
rewards for individuals as well as team results, um, performance and learning, and, and which enables staff members to open up, talk on their issues, give feedback from below, and innovate and, and share experiences. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Neil, for such a, a useful overview and a reminder of the differences between, um, between countries, but also for emphasizing towards the end issues around capacity and institutional um, development as well as culture incentives and the role they play, um, which, when it comes to drivers, um, are important to keep in mind.